Hello guys, good day to all. This is Mike Padua and we are back to our update and we are now giving you the official closure of this uh, tropical depression MO which has been gone since Saturday and this is our final update. We have not been able to give you the uh, last uh, final one uh, Saturday since we are too busy during the weekend. Uh, I have to deal with some important matters. Okay. And I'm now closing this uh, update on uh, topical depression ammo, which is still there, is still alive after so many uh, days of uh, buffeting uh, Luzon with the enhancement of the monsoon and its passage over Ilocos provinces as forecasted. But uh, for the next uh, two weeks, we are going to uh, have some quiet times. So this is our uh, final one for this Monday evening, July 28, 2025, English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of Beagle's premier college here in uh, Naga City. And uh, before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability. If you're interested to know more about BPI Sustainability Program, just click on the link here. And the local government of Naga City, headed by our Mayor Lenny Robredo and Vice Mayor Gabby Bordado. So let's uh, bring you the very latest. We are going to issue a graph set maybe uh, tomorrow for the assumption of our uh, normal climate or normal weather conditions across, uh, across the uh, country. So here's the latest uh, from cyclonicwx.com. This is the Himawanga 9 RGB uh, satellite loop. As you can see, we have twin cyclones here. This is uh, once uh, TD Emong, formerly Emong. It's now over uh, lingering over the Okinawa, over the Ryukyu. It has uh, regenerated into a tropical storm 12 hours ago and it has weakened once again into a tropical depression after crossing the uh, western sections of uh, uh, Ilocos uh, uh, region. Okay, the, the system passed here and then it um, moved over this area and then from there during Sunday, it's uh, quasi stationary here, and right now it's in the vicinity of Okinawa. It's somewhere here, okay, and it's likely to move towards the west northwest in the general direction of eastern China, particularly near Shanghai, within the next five days, okay. But it is no longer expected to enter or re enter the Philippine Air Responsibility. And we have here uh, Corsa, which passed here. Okay, the system passed over this area, and it's currently here, and it's going towards the direction and into the open waters of the uh, Western Pacific. And the reason why the uh, Southwest Monsoon are still continuing to blow across the western sections of Luzon, including Metro Manila, there is still some passing showers as of this time. It's because of these two cyclones. Although it's outside of par, it can still manage to enhance the southwest monsoon. But we have some good news for the next uh, 5 to 10 days. The southwest monsoon is set to weaken once these two system dissipates within the next uh, five to seven days so um, beginning august 1 onwards normal weather conditions will be back across western sections of luzon here in Bicol region since saturday we are now enjoying enjoying some good weather but despite of good weather we are experiencing strong winds of up to 50 kph across the Bicol region and uh, mimoropa visayas as well as uh, mindanao because of the uh, surge of the northeast, because of the surge of this uh, southwest monsoon being enhanced by these two cyclones. Here is the uh, uh, zoom in satellite animation from Windy, and you can clearly see here the latest UMATSAT loop, wherein you can still observe some occasional monsoon rains across the western sections of. Uh, uh, Luzon, particularly from Ilocos region down to uh, Cavite, 
So this area within that box are still continuing to um, experience on and off monsoon rains. Although it's uh, no longer heavy, just light, there are still some areas with passing thunderstorms. In the bigger region, besides Mindanao, good weather will be expected. Uh, and we are experiencing that since uh, last weekend. And here's the uh, multi-track from all Asian agencies. So right now, the system is right here in the vicinity of Okinawa. And within the next five days, it will move in the general direction of eastern China. Most uh, potentially, uh, it will uh, pass over or very close to Shanghai, uh, China, okay, metropolitan Shanghai. So watch out for possible strong winds and uh, heavy rainfall within the next five days. It's likely to reach 75 kilometers per hour tropical storm force winds before making landfall. And uh, for Corsa, it's a non-effect to our country. Remember, the Philippine area of responsibility is somewhere here. Okay. So it's way, way, way outside. The system is just here. So we don't have any problem. It's currently at this location. And it's moving very slowly towards the north without any effect on uh, Asian landmass, particularly over Japan. So it won't visit their area okay as for the uh, wind forecast for the next five days so far the uh, southwest monsoon will remain active across uh, the western sections of Luzon these areas will experience on and off light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall but the rest of Luzon big region Visayas will have still strong winds of up to 60 kph but uh, the rainfall is non-existent over this part of the country and if we uh, move this slider into the next uh, five days tuesday wednesday and uh, thursday you can see komai will start to dissipate as it moves overland across shanghai while uh, kosa will still be there but it's uh, currently moving slowly towards the north northeast so still the southwest monsoon will uh, be expected but with a lesser intensity and there might be some improvement of the weather across the western sections of the sun beginning thursday the last day of the month or august 1st and then if we move into friday and uh, saturday Tropical storm Kosa will accelerate towards the sea east of Japan, while the southwest monsoon across the uh, uh, country will start to diminish. Okay, we are now moving into another monsoon break. So, if we move forward into the uh, first ten days of August, you can see that the southwest monsoon he here has began to uh, weaken, and we will be uh, it will be replaced by a strong high pressure area south of uh, Iwato and uh, on August 7 there might be another uh, large but disorganized low pressure or area of low pressure near Samar but this is not yet sure since this is more than five days okay we will uh, keep you updated if this LPA will continue but we expect uh, August 7 or 8 there might be some showers across Bicol and uh, Visayas Here's the uh, rain accumulation forecast for the next uh, five days. This will be until, let me see, uh, August 3. So tomorrow, Tuesday, August 29, we still expect some on and off rainfall. Some areas like Ilocos uh, region will still have rains of up to 50 or more than 50 millimeters. Okay, so watch out for possible flooding and landslides because of the enhancement of the monsoon by the two cyclones outside of par. While uh, Metro Manila will still have showers, light uh, rains on and off. While uh, the rest of the country will continue to enjoy windy but dry conditions. Now on August 30, still there, the same area affected, affected by the monsoon. 
Thursday, August 31st, that's the time that the southwest monsoon will start to decay all weekend. Okay. Uh, the rainfall here will be uh, less than 30 millimeters. And on Friday and uh, until uh, August 2, Saturday, we expect improving weather across the western sections of Luzon and also uh, all throughout the country. Okay, but don't forget in the afternoon or evening there might still be rain showers and thunderstorms, local thunderstorms. So always keep your umbrella and rain gear handy. As for the uh, wave forecast, uh, still wavy, especially here across the West Philippine Sea, reaching a height of 3 meters over uh, the vicinity of Batanes, east of Batanes, it's up to 4 meters. 3 meters or 2.5 meters across the East Philippine Sea. The inland waters of our country will remain light to moderate, but still have, uh, continue to have choppy waves, uh, dangerous to small sea crafts and fishing vessels. But as we move this slider into uh, um, August 1 or 2, you can see a dramatic uh, uh, weakening of large waves so it will continue waves of 3 to 4 meters across the west and east Philippine seas until uh, Thursday July 31st and then on August 1 August 2 August 3 and August 4 we could see a dramatic improvement of wave heights across the Philippines except for uh, the west Philippine sea west of extreme northern Luzon we're still Wave heights of up to 3 meters will be expected because of the southwest monsoon. By Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, that's the time that you will see uh, the wave heights across the country will be less than 2 meters or less than 1 meter because of the upcoming monsoon break. So there you go. That's the uh, final uh, update. Have a great evening and we'll see you again in the next couple of days. We will be back with the usual tropical weather analysis sometime within the week. Okay. So uh, again, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.